So I'm out here in my studio space. It's my work day. Um, it's my work day, you guys, and I am getting ready to work on some patron things. I refuse to pretend like it's all glamorous because it's not. This side is hot. This side is not. <laughs> I've had way too much coffee this morning trying to clear off some rooms so I can clear my mind and be creative. Um, just trying to use the space that I have, you guys. When you have small spaces, you need to hide from the kids, and this is where I hide from the kids. Fun fact is that every time I come out here, I have to clean things up and move things around because, yeah, all the boxes get put out here. It's still our garage, so the reality is I have to see past the mess in order to work on my dreams. Okay, okay. You know who says that? Jay Morrell, I get such a giggle every time she says that in a video. She'll be like, okay, okay. <laughs> anyway, who else knows what I'm talking about? I just love that when she does that. So I'm out here cleaning off my space, um, moving stuff around. I used to get really irritated that I created this little space and it was always a mess and I just, I never, I wasn't coming out here regularly because every time I opened the door, it would just be mess everywhere. But now I'm trying to just retrain my mind and say, okay, Serena, it's not a big deal. You take like an extra five or 10 minutes, clear off your space again, wipe everything down, put on something that smells good, put on some music and get to work. So that is what I'm doing. <laughs> quite a lot of shop talk and I was also feeling bad about that like this is a homeschool channel Serena but um, it's so funny how your mind can try to put you into a box um, based on what other people are doing so it's like oh you see people have a homeschool channel so you want to do homeschool things like they are and this is a homeschool channel but it's really about life because homeschool for us is about life and all the many lessons there are to learn and business is a huge part of that um, for me or a purpose in general is a huge part of that for me and I was thinking to myself like why am I feeling bad about this or talking about it because I know people have lots of questions about planning homeschool and lessons and things but the reality is that um, I don't do things traditionally and I think that a lot of people maybe don't and um, and the people that do do things traditionally is absolutely fine but maybe sometimes they're looking for something new and different so that's what I'm hoping to bring to the table is something new and different um and for me why do I feel so bad about working on dreams and visions and all of that other stuff because the reality is that this is a large part of the reason why this homeschool life works for me um I love this part and the more I do and the more I explore the more I can teach the kids um, about doing and exploring and trying different things and all the reasons why um, all of those subjects and things you cover and you study um, lend themselves to you being able to explore and do and discover does that make sense so um, yeah so you learn about science to actually um, experiment and create something and become one of those scientists that discovered X, Y, and Z. Um, so for me, this whole business journey for us is a huge part of our homeschool life and I am trying to embrace that more. Um, I think I'm rambling on about this because I was writing down all of my like video ideas. I was gathering my request from my patrons and then also writing down all of my ideas that I had. And a lot of my ideas or video content I had was business, <laughs> business and purpose related. And so I think that's why I'm kind of talking myself through my little disclaimer. So I'm out here. I was really excited because my printer just delivered the hats to me. I know um i had spoken about that before how i wanted to add a few like dad hats or um caps to the shop i'm a big cap wearer because your friend's hair is like almost never done <laughs> so um i just wanted to add some caps to the shop so i did 
Okay, so let me show you what I got. They're so cute, you guys. So this one says forever grateful. I was just talking to Brian um, the other day, like once uh, my printer dropped the hats off, I was really excited and I just love that feeling. When you have an idea and you actually um, move forward and put it into motion, and when you see it come to life, that's the best feeling ever. And I feel like for me in business, you know, most people would think you have an idea, you create a hat, you know, you feel like success is selling a whole bunch of them, you know? But for me, I think it's just that feeling knowing that you had an idea and you actually took the steps um, to move forward in it. So it's kind of like if I never sold a hat, it's just that feeling is priceless of just having an idea, putting forth the effort and having that idea come to life. And I feel like everybody should experience that. I hope you guys are experiencing that. Whether it be um, an idea in homeschool or an idea in your community group or your church or um, your neighborhood. I just feel like we're full of so many ideas and that we let just kind of lie dormant. And I think that that does a disservice because I feel like us moms, especially us homeschool you know this requires a special set of skills <laughs> I feel like we have so much to bring to the table and I think that a lot of times there's many things or many voices out there that keep us from bringing those things to the table um, because they don't produce the same things as others so um, for me like I said before many times before in business it's like not about um, being super successful and selling a whole bunch of things. It's just going through that process and putting those things that you learned in motion. So if I learned how to do something to draw in an app on the iPad, if I learned a different type of calligraphy or I don't know, whatever it is, if I learned something new, actually put that into motion and see the fruit of that thing. So even if it's that you have an idea in homeschool, um, just taking that idea and putting it onto paper and then taking those steps and then watching it come to life, I feel like that is a real fruit in homeschool and in all other areas of our lives, whether it be a new recipe or whatever else. Obviously, you can see I'm really um, passionate on the inside about this <laughs> because I think I, I get a lot of... Um, 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 your homeschool looks like so much fun and it is I mean it has its moments you all know that right um, but it is a lot of fun but most of that is because I have an idea and I say to myself oh my gosh I think this will work and um, write it down and I take whatever steps to put it into motion so I have lots of ideas for homeschool in in particular um, for the new year and I'm excited to implement them and to see how they turn out sometimes they don't turn out so well the kids are like mm, mom for real <laughs> but I think I've done it enough now that a lot of the ideas that I do have work just because of the enthusiasm and excitement and um, the joy that it brings me it kind of rubs off onto them and I feel like I'm sharing that not for you to necessarily mimic the things that I'm doing which obviously you can because you know that's why I share but I think it's that you have that own personal vision inside or you are like everything that your kids need and um, the things that you like nine times out of ten they like also or like seeing you do and we have to figure out what that is in our own homes you know what i mean like my kids love editing and they love making movies they love art i mean <laughs> there's a reason for that there's a reason why they're given to me and i feel like those things are um individual um to each one of our households and we really have to uh refuse the a temptation to compare because you're really doing yourself a disservice you know what I mean like when I look at other um, families and other homes and they're out like in nature every day and obviously there's things to take from those families and I do I think I've gotten better at better at taking the good parts the things that I can implement into our home just celebrating someone else's victory in their own home and saying to myself oh my gosh like we can do that here too um, in our own special way and so I think that's what I want to try to 
um, encourage or inspire, which I hate those words, but <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah, because we have our own little special things and someone else's family might be out in nature every day and camping and um, backpacking and doing all of those other things and that's not for us every day maybe we can try it you know for the experience or something but that's not for us every day anyway i'm rambling again every bit of creativity that i get to add to business is so it means so much to me and i like it uh, i like it a lot so i just have to remove all those other things that um tempt me to compare and say that i'm not successful because i'm not doing x y and z and really just enjoy this process and this journey so yeah i'm excited about that and my hats are so cute <laughs> so right now i just started with the three designs and i sat down and i drew up the ones that i didn't already have and i sent them off to my printer and i said look you know we talked it out which is so much fun i enjoy um talking to him and just hashing out my ideas with him because with uh, obviously without him you know the other parts of the whole manufacturing and process, production, that whole deal, without those other people, with those other gifts or businesses and things, I can't accomplish what I'm doing. I can't be it all. So um, part of it is that relationship part. So I'm trying to focus on that, like really enjoy those relationships with um, the people that are along this business journey with me. And I have a lot of fun. We have our little business meetings and we laugh and we have a lot of fun with it. So um, I'm gonna talk more about finding um, uh, the right printer or people to work with and things like that there's um, when I feel like the Lord gives me uh, the right things to say I guess because what it all boils down to is being led by the Spirit that's just how I do things in my life what I try to do at all times just kind of put in my own ways or or whatever and just really listening to his direction and wisdom and trying so hard to be obedient I've got this design this forever grateful which I absolutely love and this is in that coral color that you guys know that I've loved and it has our Falco logo on this side and then the next color I got is this mustard this mustard color um, with our fearless design on it then I've got this um, ivory, this ivory oatmeal color, and that is our Grace design, which I think I'm going to have this one done, redone, and just made a little bit smaller, but I really like this one as well. And then I have this one. I have this color as well um, that's obviously not printed on just yet. After I finish my patron things, I'm going to try to get a few photos of the hat so I can put them up on our website. Not for them to be perfect, but just for them to be done because if we wait for perfect conditions, we'll never get anything done, right? So I'm doing a poll. Just to put it out there, the goal, um, I'm probably going to be mentioning my patrons quite a bit because I'm just so super excited about having that space. But it's not to make anybody feel like you have to be a part of my patron family. It's just that I'm so grateful and it's going to be because of my patron family that I get to continue to create and make videos and things like that. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video please um, make sure you are subscribed and you like this video um, if you enjoyed watching it leave me comments down below check out our patron if you are interested in possibly joining and becoming part of our patron fam and I will see you in our next video Bye.